here's a thing. My granddad was an opera singer, my uncle was a jazz pianist, I was a boy soprano in the church choir. And then I spent my formative years listening to Elvis Presley and Ray Charles and Ella Fitzgerald and goodness knows what, everything. And then it all came together at the right time with Purple. So that was just probably, you know, when fertilization took place, it was, it was fantastic. For me, the most exciting time was actually joining Deep Purple at the very beginning because it was, we, it was, we'd paid our dues, Roger Glover and myself. We'd joined Purple not just as a singer and a bass player, but as a songwriting team. With Fireball, we brought in the other elements, the funk and the blues, the soul, the jazz, um, the, and, and some of the sort of psychedelic hangovers from our um, earlier days. <laughs> the reason that Fireball was my favorite album of that period was because it was the it, without Fireball, we would never have been able to make Machine Head. Machine Head was probably the first album that um, was successful really on a huge worldwide scale. Woo! With five guys, you've got to get everyone thinking in exactly the same way. Because we don't make any preparation for records, we never have done. We walk into the studio, put the kettle on, hey, how's your family, how's the dog, all right, have a good holiday, well, okay, let's get started. And Ian, Pace, and Steve, and Don, Roger, they wander in midday, one o'clock, and they play for six hours. Till, and after three days, maybe some ideas are emerging. After five days, we've got four or five songs, and after three weeks, it's finished. So, um, that, we, But we've got to be in the right frame of mind where we're going to make the record, who's going to be the producer, and uh, when, when we're going to do it. Do you know already? No. 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 Uh, we but we're thinking it's about time. Yeah. 